know, my dear sisters, that Islam is filled with many, many Muslimat, Mu'minat, Muhsinat, Qanitat, Salihat, righteous women who completed their faith, their taqwa of Allah. Just look at the Sahabiyat, those great women, the female companions of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who are in reality are your ancestors. They were the greatest women in Islam and were one of the main reasons for this great nation to be where it is today. They enjoined good, forbade evil, and they raised the flag of La ilaha illallah to be the most high. My sisters, their way, their examples, their way of life should be the coolness of your eyes and the contentment of your hearts all of them Wallahi all of them were strict adherence of no other than La ilaha illallah strict adherence of Islam the same Islam that today is being labeled as the backward Islam the oppressive Islam and they are calling which you are witnessing today for the liberation of the Muslim woman believing that Islam is oppressing you incarcerating you that you are following a path or a religion that is backwards so they want you to be liberated, they claim. Liberated. But liberated from what? You ask the question, liberated from what? From Allah? From Muhammad ibn Abdullah? Sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Liberated from the Quran and Sunnah? Liberated from Jannah? Eternal salvation? Liberated from the Deen? that Allah has chosen for you is this what they call liberation and liberation to what they want you to be liberated from this this precious jewel and into what they want you to be liberated from Islam to nudity to flirtatiousness to sexual promiscuity to be in like a merchandise, a commodity that is easily played with in transactions, in dealings, placed on the billboard of every corner of streets, of every part of the globe. They want to sell you. That is their liberation. Liberation from the path of light to the path of darkness. Liberation from the path of Allah to the path of the accursed, rejected devil. That is their liberation.